Hello again and welcome to Mission. In Mission this evening, commuting and access to health facilities in Krache, Bandai, Wulensi and Nakpayili is now easier as the bad roads have been tarred. Government released funds for the reconstruction of the Krache, Bandai, Wulensi, Binda Road after TV3 Mission's constant rep report on the bad state of the major road. This is the routine form of commuting in Pandai. Access to healthcare in this area remains a major challenge due to the nature of roads. Not all health workers would wish to work in these areas, especially as community-based health planning and services, chips facilities in hinterland communities. Those posted there are doing their best to save lives in the midst of limited resources and logistics. In communities where there are no means of transportation, outreach programs are not a priority and the consequences are dire. Roads here are deadly and increase traveling hours. Pandai is the hub for yams, but most farmers lost interest in farming as there are no good roads to cut farm produce for sale. Three months after a mission report on the plight endured by commuters on the stretch, government released funds for the construction of the road linking Ketekrachi through Pandai, Willensi to join the Eastern Corridor Road at Binda Junction. The contract for the 75-kilometer road was awarded in 2016, but work did not commence due to lack of funds. Contractors First Sky Limited and Jianzi Nonferous Construction Limited moved to site and brisk work has been done. The people of Banda, Bandai, Wilensi, Nakpayili and Binda are using a third road for the first time in more than four decades. What this means is that traveling hours have been shortened and access to healthcare also not much a problem. The Chinese firm Jianzi Nonferous Construction Limited has completed the application of second coat on its portion of the road, while First Sky Limited is yet to complete its portion. Resident engineer at the Ghana Highways Authority, Engineer Solomon Ejay, gave more details about the project. What happened was that uh, the contractor started most of his uh, concrete works but the earthworks delayed due to financial constraints on the contractor. Both contractors are to complete their projects within a period of 36 months. Commuters are happy. For those born in Pandai and have never moved out of the district, this would be their first time seeing and using a third road because there is none anywhere in the district. Member of Parliament for Pandai, Matthew Nyendam, who is happy about the progress of work, never kept mute. The town roads itself are almost done because it's just left with some few portions to be awarded. And like you rightly said, from Pandai towards Banda, that's the voter region, or you can call it the new OT region, the roads are almost done. If you move from Pandai to Benda, that is the Bimbla Wolensi Road, it's almost done. And last week, the Minister for Roads and Highways has approved the Salaga Bandai Road that is going to be awarded. I will not be surprised if next week that project is advertised to make sure that that road is also constructed. District Chief Executive for Bandai, Emmanuel Ata Tatablata, is hopeful government would pay attention to other bad roads in the district. More resources would be required to address the issues bordering bad roads, improve healthcare accessibility, as well as improve the socio-economic lives of the people in Pandai and its surrounding districts. Stanley Nibleu, TV3 News, Pandai, Northern Region.